Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Ming. On my channel, I do a variety of lifestyle videos, vlog videos, morning routine videos, food review videos, and the best part, Costco haul videos. Ta da We just came back from Costco. We got a lot of new items from Costco. I'm so excited to share it with you. <laughs> Before I start, I just want to remind you to make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell and it will really help me out if you could give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and let's get into today's video. Ta da So the first item I'm actually so 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 excited to share with you. This is actually a neck and body massager. Ta da This is the Infinity Cordless Sheet 2 Neck and Body Massager. It also has this rechargeable cordless battery and it also can provide heat when your muscles are super super sore so previously i actually bought one of those neck and body massager for my mother-in-law and i also made a review video in my channel if you haven't checked that out make sure you check it out after today's video but today we actually saw like a similar massager but from a different brand and this is the brand infinity so when I first saw it at first impression, I felt like the price point of this one is a little bit better because I think the other one when we got it, it was on sale, so it was like $99. But the normal price is actually $150 or $160 or something like that. But this one, I think it was like a special event and it's only $99. And I was like, wait, we bought one for your mom. I need one. I, I really enjoy the one that we got for his mom, but I really want one for myself. So there you go. It's not sponsored. They didn't send it to me. I actually went to the store and there, there was a salesperson he's like would you like to try it out I was like sure so of course you know it says relax your mind you can renew your body and revive the soul I don't know if it's gonna revive the soul but it's definitely really relaxing for my neck and shoulder so apparently it's good for your lower back between your shoulders and also for your upper neck and the back the best part about this one is that the actual control is actually on your strap so you don't actually have to take the down so the one model it's a, I think the previous one that we bought is from Trumatic and that one is actually really good the only thing is my mother-in-law said you have to take it down to change different mode or turn on and off the heat but this one the actual control is actually on the sleeve so today's haul video we're going to unbox this together boxing Ta ha 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 here comes the actual product and i think this one is the charging cord here comes this is the charging cord we have the plug and we have the other like port so this is for charging so 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 so, so, so excited okay yes, okay so first impression looks pretty good this one is in blue color it says infinity and it's not too heavy but it definitely carries quite a bit of weight and it also have the sleeves and you can just put your hands inside of this handlebar so let's see i don't know if there's power yet because i haven't charged it so let's try this out the best part about this one is the actual controller the controller is right there on the sleeve so the other one that i tried the one from true medic you have to actually control right here and you can't see but here you can actually see so we have different mode you can go from different motions and we can have the heat and also let's turn it on oh it actually works okay so basically if you go like right here if you extend your arm oh it's actually massaging my uh, upper neck oh and then if you just pull it down it's massaging my shoulders it's actually quite good it's actually quite good we're gonna have the heat on you can change the mode when you click this oh it actually has different mode when you do different mode oh duh okay so can you see it actually lights up right here oh my neck ah hey it actually feels pretty good i don't know if you guys can see this and then if you pull it down it actually goes down to the lower neck so lower neck and upper shoulders and then we can just pull it down a little bit oh nice oh Okay, pretty good, pretty good. And just, just run it down right here, run it down, and, and you can massage your lower back. In my cubicle, and I actually, my necks and 
my shoulders are always sore. You know the best part is this is actually really quiet. So guys, listen to this. It's actually really quiet. So I think I can actually bring it to the office and use it in my cubicle. I don't think people are gonna actually hear it. It's actually pretty quiet compared to a lot of like massage guns and stuff like that. So I was gonna bring my massage gun to my cubicle, but I just felt like it was too, it would be too loud. And this is a heat on and off. We also have flash slow, flash fast, or no flash. And we also have different modes in terms of like, if you can see here, single direction, energy, soothe, and auto rotate. Guys can see. This is basically the instruction if you're curious about like if there's any modes or, or any symbols on this controller means it's actually quite simple on the bottom. Purple is like super 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 light. Red is energy. Blue is auto rotate. But it feels pretty nice. And the heat is like very slow generating. So the uh, salesperson said that the heat is not just like be overwhelmingly on. It's just gonna be like slowly you you feel the heat and then it's gone and then slowly you feel the heat. But overall, I feel pretty good about this item. I think it's a pretty good purchase for $100 because like usually massages are like $80, $60. I don't know, I haven't gone, I haven't got a massage for a long time so I don't even know the price anymore. But this feels really good and you can just like watch TV or work. This is pretty nice. You can actually work at a YouTube videos. Well, you know, massaging my neck. Yeah, so this is the first item. I think this is pretty good. All right, I've been using this massager for a week now and let's have Brandon to demonstrate the massager. So the first feature of the massager is that it has both the handles and also the sleeves. So when you eat or when you do certain tasks, you can actually put your arms into the sleeve and just carry them. But if you want to put more pressures on the massager, you can put your hands into the handles and you can actually lift your arms up like straight and then to massage your neck or just lift them down to massage your shoulders. So when it comes to the uh, controller, we have the power, the heat, the speed, and the mode. My favorite mode is actually blue because when it comes to the blue one, it's actually automatically rotating inwards and outwards. So there are different types of rotation. Um, there are also faster speed, which is, I think it gets a little bit harder, the massager, um, but sometimes like if you could change to different mode, like to a purple, um, it will become actually lighter. So it really depends, try different modes if you want, but my favorite is actually the blue one. I usually just set it to blue because I like the rotating of the massager. Cause when you put the blue, it will go like counterclockwise clockwise for a while and then clockwise for a while so I have different motion of massager so overall I really enjoy this massager I've been bringing these to my office and it actually works really well it's pretty quiet so nobody notices that I'm actually doing massages <laughs> at work when I'm actually working so it's definitely great for um, doing office stuff and it's pretty quiet so I've been enjoying this I think this is a very good investment if you have um, shoulder soreness pain and things like that and also the heat is not too hot and it's very slow heat so usually I don't feel it until a while like five to seven minutes and it's only like 20 minutes it will just automatically stops alrighty overall highly recommend this is a successful purchase oh yeah so first item I would say it's a success first time first impression actually works pretty good it looks pretty luxurious and if you need a massager this one may be the one to go and it's i think it's pretty affordable because like the real massages are pretty expensive anyways so yeah we have more items to get excited to share with you this is the luxury fragrance candles from the brand incenza there are actually two candle options i was initially gonna buy the other one the other one was like $20 for eight candles or six candles, but that one I couldn't smell anything. So I was like, what if I don't like the scent? I felt like for candles, you just have to smell it. If you like it, you can buy it. So the other one initially, I was gonna buy that one because that one you have more candles for $20. But then I was like, I don't know the brand and I couldn't smell it through the package. So I chose this one because I've been using the essential oil from the brand Incenza. So I knew I like this brand because I've been joining their essential oils. 
So inside of this one, I believe this is like $16, $15 or $14, something like that. And it has two big candles in a glass jar. And they're two cents in this one. The scent is the pomegranate apple. The other one is the vanilla bean. I was sold on this one. It smells so good. I can definitely smell the apple and it's just like so good. So the vanilla bean, it was pretty light. I felt like the vanilla bean one is really light, but for the, the apple one, the Panagaran apple, this one is so, so, so good. So I felt like vanilla bean is like more of a neutral. The Panagaran apple, it's like, it's kind of sweet, but at the same time, it's not like overwhelmingly sweet. It's kind of like this refreshing, citrusy, sweet, but it's not as citrusy as like those orange or grapefruit. It's more like those apple, but it's it's sweet, it's citrusy, it's refreshing, It's it's good. Highly recommend this candle set. I love this brand and I think it's a really good deal, I think, for a big candle like this. Recently, I've been burning a lot of candles because I just like that vibe. I just like that candle vibe. I just like the scent. I love to diffuse some essential oils over some scented candles. Just, I like that homey vibe when I'm at home. All right, so the next item, I think you guys saw this at the intro section of this video. Oh, this is so good. This is the Sun Chips. 100% whole grain. It's not healthy, but this is our favorite flavor. This is Garden Salsa. If you haven't tried this, I think everyone has tried this, but if you haven't tried this, this is amazing. So usually at Costco, they don't have this garden salsa. They have the other flavors. I don't like the other flavors. When it comes to sun chips, I know some people like their ranch or whatever. I just have to go with garden salsa. Once you try this, you don't want other flavors anymore. So we got one of these. It's so good, so good. Just couldn't resist when I saw this item at Costco. So we got a very unhealthy item. Alright, so the next item is actually a set. This is the brand. This is from the brand Rio's. And so this is the Rio's homemade all natural premium marinara sauce. Here we go, marinara sauce. This is a set of two. So there are different spaghetti sauce, pasta sauce, marinara sauce at Costco, but my husband said he just has to go with Rayo's because he said it tastes the best. I don't know enough about pasta sauce, but we saw like cheaper options, but he swears by this. So we got a set of two. The reason why we bought the pasta sauce is because ta da da, we got the raviolis. So initially, we we're gonna buy the spinach and cheese ravioli, but instead we saw this one, the lobster ravioli. Of course, this is the first time we try this, so we don't know if this is good yet. So if you have tried this item, please comment down below which specific ravioli that you recommend from Costco. We would love to try it out because my husband loves raviolis. So this is from the brand. Reina. This is Italy's most loved brand. It says right here. I don't know. I don't know if it's the most loved brand from Italy, but this is from the brand Reina. And this is their main lobster ravioli. No preservatives and it comes in a pack of two. Seven servings inside of this two pack. And each serving contains 250 calories, 9 grams of fat, 6 grams of fiber, 8 grams of sugar, 10 grams of protein. It has a lot of sodium though, but it's not like overwhelmingly high, like too high that it's like not consumable. So here we go. It also says that there is no preservatives inside of this. So I'm so excited to give it a try because I am a huge fan of lobster, of course. I think most people love lobsters except for those who are allergic to lobsters, I guess. And let me know in a comment down below if you have tried a spinach and cheese one, because we were going to buy that one, but instead we bought this one instead. So we don't know which one is better, so help us out in the comment section. Next item that I got is a snack item. This is like a relatively healthier snack. This is the crunchy dried beet. And this is unsweetened and unsulfured. Um, not fried or baked. This is basically just dried beet. And it says it's an excellent source of fiber, three grams of protein per serving, has a, quite a bit of potassium, and zero fat, zero fat. So I was intrigued about the beet chips because I don't know if it's gonna taste good. So this is actually the first time we tried it out. You know what, let's just open this because this is a resealable bag. You know what, why not, why not? Why don't we try it together? All right guys, this is what it looks like inside. 
They look like beets for sure. There is zero grams of fat. It's not baked. It's not fried. It's just like dried, I think. And it looks quite thin. Looks pretty good. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good. Pretty good. Look at the ingredients. There is nothing else. It's just a beet root. It's actually really good. It's a little bit sweet. It's a little bit sour. Um, it has this rooty, earthy taste of beets, but it's just beets taste. There is no other taste because there's no sugar. There's no added sugar, of course. There's sugar in the beets, but there's no added sugar. There's no added salt or anything. It's just beet root. This is quite healthy as a snack item where you can put in your salad or anything, but I would just eat it as a snack. It looks pretty good. Super crunchy. Sweet, sour, earthy beet taste chips. Right, so the next item is ta -da! Okay, these chicken drumsticks are amazing. So at the Costco store, there are two types of dishes. One is like pre-made, pre-cooked, and ready to eat. And those are usually by the rotisserie chicken. I was so ready to buy the chicken drumstick by there, by the rotisserie chicken, because their flavor is absolutely amazing. And there is no additional steps to take. You just need to microwave them if you put them in the fridge. But this one, you actually have to put them in the oven. I think it's kind of like pre-cooked. It's chilled, seasoned drumstick. So basically, you just put them in the oven, preheated to 350. It's 20 to 30 minutes in the oven or five to 10 minutes in the microwave. So these are not like cooked cooked, they're chilled and seasoned. So this is our secondary option just because you have to take extra steps, but the seasoning is absolutely amazing and the sauce is really, really good. So it comes with the sauce on the side, you can dip them in the sauce, you don't have to dip it in the sauce. So just put them in the oven 20 to 30 minutes and they're ready to go. But if you see the other chicken drumsticks, they're so great as well. I definitely love their flavor, the seasoning just off the chart good. And the best part is this is only $4.40. $4.44 for so many drumsticks. So if you go to like other like Wingstop or Buffalo Wings, $4.44, you don't get to buy a lot of chicken wings, but these are even better. They're chicken drumsticks and they're just like $4.44. All you need to do is put them in the oven. I know it sounds like I'm selling them. I don't work for Costco, just letting you know, just to clarify, I don't work for Costco, but I get super, super, super excited because I felt like this is a really good deal. It's so easy to make. All I need to do is put it in the oven, I'll go take a shower, and bam, it's ready to go. So I love that convenience. I love the seasoning. So. Why not, right? Why not? Bought a lot of fruits from Costco actually. We got bananas, of course, always buy them in green. That's what I do because in about a few days, they're gonna become super yellow. So, oh, summer is coming. You know when summer is coming when you see cherries and peaches in your grocery store. So I got the Delta Fresh Cherries. Dada, if you don't know, cherries are my favorite favorite fruit. They're my absolutely favorite, 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 favorite. They're not necessarily my favorite flavor when it comes to like ice cream or fruit bars or any like candies. But when it comes to the fruit itself, cherries are so sweet and it has this little tangy taste. I just love them so much. So I love those sweet, a little bit tart, a little bit tangy. I just love cherries. So I bought a box of cherries. Of course, they're quite expensive because it's not fully summer yet, but it's worth it. It's worth it. I just love cherries. Dragon fruit. You say dragon fruit, we say pitaya. Pitaya. Interesting. Dragon fruit. A few weeks ago, I actually bought dragon fruit for the first time at Costco because it's a little bit cheaper than the local grocery store. And I absolutely loved it. They were so, so, so fresh. So this time I saw it again, I decided to buy it again because I felt like it's a little bit fresher than the local grocery store that we had. And also it's a little bit cheaper. So I got two dragon fruits. I love love them so much. I used to eat them like not every day, but like almost every week. But now I'm, I don't have that easy access to my favorite fruit. Ta-da! You know, it's summer when you see peaches in the grocery store. This is so freaking good. So freaking good. Um, yellow peaches. My favorite peaches are actually white peaches and white nectarines, but 
That's not seasoned yet, but we got the yellow ones and they smell so amazing. You know how I found this in the store? It was quite interesting because I didn't know they had the peaches. So I went to the apples. I was like, let's buy these Envy apples because they're so sweet. And I was like, wait a second. Give me a second. I smell something. <laughs> And then I was like, there are actually peaches on their side. So I actually didn't see these because these are not like one of those like, wow, we sell peaches is more like super low key in a corner. But I was like, I smell them. I actually smell them. So I found my favorite fruit, the peaches. This is my second favorite fruit. Actually, I don't know which one like better, cherry or peaches. They're all both very, very good. So I got a box of yellow peaches and they smell so good. All right, so the next item we're coming back to frozen food. This is the Vicky's Kitchen Broccoli Cheddar Stuffed Chicken Breast. Huh, interesting. I have never had stuffed chicken breast. And I think one time I was talking to my friend and he's like, oh, try the stuffed chicken breast, it's really good. But I actually don't know what it looked like. I don't know what brand, I don't know what it tastes like. Hell, today I actually saw this item. Huh, broccoli cheddar stuffed chicken breast interesting i bought it not because i like chicken breast but it's because i love broccoli i just love broccoli i love broccoli soup i love i love broccoli cheddar soup and i was like this is probably gonna taste because i love broccoli cheddar so i got the organic broccoli cheddar stuffed chicken breast it looks pretty good on the picture so i am sold so it looks pretty convenient. I know it, I'm all about convenience because I'm so busy all the time. So yeah, I'm super excited to try it out. It's my first time trying this. If you have tried it before, comment down below if you like them. A repurchase. Oh, here we go. This is, here we go. Um, this is called Real Good Enchiladas. It's actually real good because this is actually the second time we bought these. The first time it was like a couple of weeks ago. I think I shared this in my recent Costco haul and my husband actually bought it and he was like, this looks interesting and we love enchiladas. So he bought these. There's six chicken breast grande enchiladas in this box and they're actually individually packaged. So it's actually really handy to bring them to lunch. So my husband actually brought this one to lunch. It was really, really handy. And he said it absolutely tastes amazing, amazing. And I bought this because I was like, oh, Oh, they're 20 grams of protein because I've been working out so much. I need to definitely increase my protein intake. So it's actually really easy. My husband actually brought it to work and put it in the conventional oven. My work doesn't have an oven. My work only has microwave. So we're just going to do it in a microwave instead. But oven probably tastes better, I want to say. So this one is actually quite healthy because each enchilada only has four grams of carbohydrates. It's definitely pretty healthy. It's like 20 grams of protein, four grams of carbohydrates, and nine grams of fat. So I think it's actually healthier than a lot of enchiladas out there. So I'm very, very, very excited. I think it's one of those like low carbs item. Only four grams of carbs in total for each enchilada. So I don't know like what are the keto standards, but this is like pretty good for a low carb diet. I've been eating so much carb lately. So I'm so excited. At lunch. Okay, this is the enchilada. Oh, interesting. This is cheese flour, the cheese tortilla. It's not carbs. Ah, interesting. It's made Quite. of tortilla. No, this is made of cheese. It's tortilla. No, it's made of cheese. I saw the ingredients. It's, it's actually high techy techy. Lots of chicken inside. Yep, yep, yep. And last, okay, so the grand finale. This is our newly purchased item. I don't know if it's gonna taste good yet. So this is also from the same brand, Real Good. The only reason why we bought this one is that we absolutely love the Real Good enchiladas. And my husband was like, let's try something different this time. So he decided to buy this one. This is the Pepper Jack Parmesan Mozzarella Cheese Bacon Wrapped Stuffed Chicken. Oh my gosh, that is so mouthful, right? Pepper Jack Parmesan Mozzarella Cheese Bacon Wrapped Stuffed Chicken. So I think this is like a keto food. It doesn't say it's keto, but I think it's keto. It's tasty stuffed chicken inside of the bacon. I don't know if I'm gonna like this one, but my husband wanted to bring it to lunch. I don't like bacon. I'm so sorry, but I just don't like the taste of bacon to me. I was like, I'm not chewing on anything. Okay, so. This one, there's six servings per can, and each serving has 380 calories with 28 grams of fat, 32 grams of protein, and 
only three grams of carbon hydrate. But I do want to say that there's quite a bit of cholesterol and sodium. Oh my gosh, the cholesterol is 140 milligrams and the sodium is 990 milligrams. So it's like 1,000 milligrams of sodium. So this is probably not going to be good for you if you have high blood pressure or heart disease. I don't know. I don't think this is healthy, but I think this is probably keto. So Gloria, if you're watching, comment down below. If anyone is on keto diet, comment down below. I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know what to feel about this item because I feel like the enchilada one is actually pretty healthy because that one doesn't have too much cholesterol, doesn't have too much sodium, but this one is high sodium, high fat, high cholesterol, but also high protein, but definitely low carb. So if you have tried this item, please comment down below how you think of it. How do you like them? Do you think they're qualify for your diet if you want to eat healthy so comment down below alrighty that's our grand finale of the day that's it for today's costco haul video i found so many great items my massager i'm so excited to put this into you you probably don't want to overuse it but it's probably good it will stop after 20 minutes i believe alrighty that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you like it please give it a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm and also comment down below if you have tried any of the items that we bought in this haul and let me know how you think of them do you love them do you not like them or what are the reasons and also what do you recommend us to try in costco i know sometimes like different costcos they sell different items and sometimes the items shuffled so comment down below if you have any recommendations for us to try from costco and we are huge foodies and we love to try them out all right before you go don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and give this video a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm and i will see you in my next video happy shopping bye